Observation of suspect Magdalena Stewart commenced at 1735 hours at the Supreme Court building Johannesburg by special DIS teams under my personal command. She's sticking to her Friday pattern. Let's go straight to the market. That's where she'll be. It wasn't your fault, it was mine. The other one got herself killed. That leads up to this young lady, too. The pendant is a miniaturized hypodermic. There was a smell of burnt almonds. The poison was probably a cyanide derivative, lethal and fast-acting. I want the medical report on the girl immediately. Send a copy directly to Captain Ruth. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Seem to be an order, Captain. We closed an important information leak in military affairs, following proper departmental procedures for a change. Mrs. Ivers? Captain? I want our computers to be happy. One day you may even come to appreciate them, Captain. Well, they may have put in a bit of overtime, sir. I'd like to keep this case file open. Open? Magdalena Stewart is dead, and so is her contact. That's part of my thinking. There wasn't enough involved for a young, attractive woman like Magdalena Stewart to commit suicide. Based on circumstantial evidence alone. Her alternative was 20 to 30 years in prison for espionage. Well, last night I searched her apartment. Everything, with proper authorization, everything seemed in order except for a flight schedule for a particular diplomatic courier from London, Lord Ormsby. It was part of her duties to book passage for diplomatic careers. It was an on-again, off-again flight. Three different changes which none of her superiors knew about. Could be a foreign contact. I also found this in her office desk. 